Uh, the only giallo movie that Franco Nero ever starred in was The Fifth Chord, and that alone made it an essential purchase for me. Um, I really do like giallo movies, and this has some wonderful moments, but is also kind of familiar within the tropes of the typical gialli. We get a wonderful opening where we have this voice recording of someone threatening to kill as the camera kind of dollies round various people who could possibly become our first victim of this crazed killer. Pretty soon we're introduced to a reporter lead character played by Franco Nero and what I really like about this character is he's extremely self-destructive. He's womanising, having several affairs, he's alcoholic, he's abusive. He's not a particularly nice fellow, but with Nero at the helm, you get a kind of driving impulse at the heart of this character. He's a reporter with a story. He's hunting down who's killing people round about the city for two reasons. One, he wants that wonderful story for himself that he can get himself a little bit of notoriety within his newspaper. And two, all the victims are people that he has been in contact with and he is increasingly starting to look like the main suspect, so he needs to clear his name. One of the things I really like about giallo movies is usually the odd partnership of the main pairing. There's usually two people investigating uh, the crime. This time we only have Nero's character and it feels as if we're missing out on a counterpoint to balance out the story a little point. But with an actor as strong as Nero, he can carry it uh, a long way. This has multiple scenes of extreme tension and suspense all the way through it. There is a moment where there's a woman who is uh, bed bound, she, she can't use her legs, there's something going on in the house, she starts to crawl about and in tremendously long shots we get to see her agonisingly crawl along the floor looking for any kind of help whatsoever. It's drawn out, it's highlighted by the wonderful Morricone score and it just creates that mood of tension. There is um, an absolutely outstanding sequence later on involving a child who uh, seemingly has been left alone to look after himself. The kid must be about seven or eight and there is real weight and an insurmountable uh, amount of tension there because the, the kid may or may not die but in most movies you kind of understand that there is a chance that the the kid's never going to die. This, there is the opposite. There is an extreme weight, there is an extreme build up, there is zero hope. We may be seeing a child killed on camera by a crazed killer. It gets to that level of extreme. And one of the things that grasped me most about the fifth chord was the look of the movie. The lighting, the, the staging. Uh, the, 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 the vistas that it creates are just utterly wonderful and really expertly done. I love the use of, of um, architecture and the weird angles that it has to create a, a kind of strange looking uh, visage uh, and uh, even the, the use of blinds as like cell bars for these buildings, people encaged within their own homes. Franco Nero is a wonderful um, actor and his performance is great and the character is really flawed and yet somehow you manage to stick with this character understanding uh, the, the problems that he has he's even aware of the problems that he has throughout the movie. I really quite like the fifth chord from the music from the production to the look of the movie the story's not um, anything really great it's familiar, but that's not a bad thing, really. Um, and The Fifth Chord is a, a really excellent uh, giallo movie that I would thoroughly recommend. I, I had a lot of fun with this one, and I'd love to know your thoughts on The Fifth Chord. Let me know in the comment box below, and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.